I find myself saying a lot that uh, music should be felt um, more so sometimes than actually being heard, uh, especially like effects and that type of thing. Like if I'm in a concert or uh, different or watching a movie or different things, I, I don't necessarily want to hear what's going on. I want to feel what's going on. Sometimes if I'm in a concert or something and, I, and I'm always thinking about the sound system and that type of thing, I'm thinking, well, something's wrong because I shouldn't have to really be aware of it. I, it should just be something that you can just experience and feel. It's all about feeling. It's all about felt. It's all about, you know, you know instruments that are mainly felt and, and actually played in, in a way. It's, it's a hard to explain. It's a one-of-a-kind piano that's uh, not an unicorda, but you could call it a duocorda. For each note on the piano, there are two strings. And Tomek from Felt Instruments, he has collected what he's called unobtainium gear. These are uh, unique um, devices and effects and microphones from, from the 40s, like the preamps, the first German broadcast preamps in the 40s. And some of the mics he's used uh, were previously by Niels Fromm uh, and the, the father of noir, <laughs> you know, the piano, uh, you know, the native instruments, noir piano. Niels Fromm is just such a, a, a very wonderful uh, keyboardist, instrumentalist. Bardzo is very different, and Bardzo in Polish means very, and this is very different. And the links are going to be, of course, in the description below. But let's, um, let's dive into this because it is very, very different. Here we go. And I'm just going to um, pull up the sustains. These are all the different um, instrument presets. We've got some prepared things and let's just kind of, um, let's kind of get lost in this. soft piano it actually when you're playing it it's actually softer than an upright and so he's playing the notes himself and the different velocity layers they're not all consistent but they're played with feeling and that's what comes across when you're experimenting experiencing 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 this instrument i'll get it out there so let's keep going Yeah, the low end, that's one of the things. The low end on this on this thing is just very, um, very, very big. And I love the um, interface. It's very intuitive. So let's play with the echo sum. And we can adjust the release noises and stuff.
uh, the tone has two different mic signals. And this first one is the, the pair of um, Niels Fromm microphones and then plus some ribbon microphones. And you adjust this with the sun and the tone. I'm going to go ahead and just take the um, reverb down. And, and then when you, when you move the tone over where it becomes the moon, then we're getting the ribbons that were recorded underneath. Yeah. Because of the dua corda, because it's just such a, uh, you get a delicate, you get a really interesting delicate sound with this. And then we've got the response. We've got that little latency in the front, uh, the, the, the pre-sample, the start times. Uh, so human has got a little bit of, uh, of that extra space before the attack. And then tight is more right on the note. Yeah, so that gives you different uh, responses. And the body, you know, adjusts different... Uh, Everything is uh, sampled as far as the processing. There, there are no necessarily, I guess, the effects uh, as far as the tone, because the tone, anything that affects the tone has been sampled through all of this vin vintage unobtainium type of gear. That's what gives the sound that, that very unique quality. Okay, so here is the felted version of this. And sorry, NBC, we got to do a little felt. Uh, and I'm going to turn uh, the reverb up a little bit with this. Uh, so this is a little felted do accorda. Okay, let me bring down the, let me change it, the reverb a little bit more. Yeah, let's get into a different key here. hearing so many different things. I'm hearing like harp uh, and like uh, David, you mentioned uh, it sounded kind of like a tine, uh, just different, different characteristics. So now this is uh, being played with soft mallets. Yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of mechanics and a lot of stuff going on and we have adjustments uh, for that too. You can just hear those mallets just. So let's turn the noises down just a little bit. There we go. And then we've got like a sub frequency that gives that little, that rounds that bottom out just a little bit more. Let's look at the rubber mallets. So we've got soft mallets and the rubber is a little bit hard. It's a very, 
it's a it is a very percussive That's almost guitar-like to me. And shape that tone a little bit. Very cool. Okay, and um, this is different. Yeah. Just using all different kinds of things to create different attack. Different attack things on the strings. And this is marxophone rods. Uh, so different, different percussive things going on. And let's see, let's try a different reverb some echo. And let's go to the second set of microphones here. Oh, yeah. Amazing, yeah. And the way Tomek recorded these is really beautiful. And Butterfingers is plucked using the fingers, uh, and then at higher velocities, you've got the fingernails uh, plucking the strings. So we're just kind of, kind of plucking the strings there. Let me go to microphone set two. Yeah, ow. with any of the it just has such an, a very open sound to it uh, let's just kind of yeah the body now let's open it way out and you just hear that sound just the way that you can change the sound of this now the second set of microphones it's the same uh, pair but they run them through different filter banks, different EQs. So you can get a really cool blend of sound. I just think it's really cool. Okay, and then uh, these are some uh, afterglows. And these are just some very processed um, sounds from uh, the Bardzo samples. And we've got, uh, and if you've got an MPE compatible controller, uh, these are MPE compatible too. Using that mod wheel. So this is a combination of, of dulcimer and flute. And we can turn, we can blend those down. Yeah. 
It's just incredible to me, all these different developers with all of the textures that we have access to. I can imagine layering this with the with the piano and that type of thing. Okay, so okay, so these are just some vintage uh, tape recordings that they're sine waves processed. And listen as I move that mod wheel. Simpkin, just some more synth and oh man. Yeah, that's just some crazy stuff going on. And last but not least, we've got fragments. And these are just like different tape loops that you can use to sequence through things. And you can just reset the, uh, the tape loops. Let's, uh, let's just kind of make this, you can increase those. And I'm just kind of getting used to uh, what's going on with these, but it's just like, it's crazy what you can do. All these different things. Okay, we've got all these different, now we can trigger all these different tape loops. <laughs> And they're cycling through there. So just a lot of creative stuff going on. A lot of creative stuff going on. Very, very creative. Amazing. And I would, um, I would say again, I always like to say, just make sure you go check out the links in the description. I'm gonna go back to just the regular uh, do a chord of sustains and go with that second set of microphones and just kind of go out with this. It's just got such a very unique, um, almost delicate, you know, delicate after we came from those tape loops. And the way he sampled it with just just kind of feeling those different velocity layers. It just gives it that uh, human touch. Let's see. So that's Barzo from Felt Instruments. so cool just so beautiful 